Hello gamers, geeks and gays, my name is Sturks and welcome back to the Outer Wilds. I have a few things to clarify before we go any further. I want to put people's minds at ease and give you a little bit of an idea of what's going to come over the next few weeks, months. Don't worry, I am going to complete the game. In the last episode, there was a few people got, I think, confused and I understand why. I did make it a bit confusing. I did have genuine thoughts for an alternative way to end the game. Because this is my journey. This is my emotional journey. And I'm not going to say what the ending was going to be. But it was going to be thematic. It was going to be personal. And while I know you guys want me to see the end, I know you want to see, to see the work that's been put into it. And you, you know I'll regret it if I don't see it. I did have an idea that I would have been quite happy with. And I would have been. I do want to know what happens. I do. And I am going to know. But there was part of me that was quite happy with potentially letting it just end. And you'll see what I mean. I'm going to implement a version of it in the finale. There's going to be bits of my personal ending in that finale, but we are going to go and do the whole thing. I'm not about to just let you guys, you know, hang out to dry like that. I know it means too much to too many people, but I just wanted to get it out there that it is going to happen, and we'll leave it at that. But now... We have some things to be doing. We have a few puzzles that I have missed because I forgot a very important part of the game. Time. I was so... It... I can't quite think of the words. I wasn't annoyed with myself, but I was very happy that I remembered that time was part of this game. Time was part of the puzzle. So what we're going to go to do today is we're going to go to the sun station. I'm going to go there. I'm going to find what there is to see. After that, I don't know. I'm not sure if that'll be enough to warrant one full episode. But I had a realization. Time is part of the puzzle, right? There's more than one thing that we have left to do that I think needs a little bit of time to pass for us to be able to complete it. The main puzzle we're going to solve first, though, is the sun station. So what we need to do, I need to get over there. This is my, my thinking anyway. I know people could probably flappy bird their way through the cactus field, like that, that little cactus room. This is me we're talking about, guys. You know I'm not going to be able to do that realistically. So I'm going to use everything this game has to offer me so that I can get through it. First of all, however, we do need to get to the Ash Twin. Um, I need to get there quite ASAP. We might have a bit of time to just kind of sit and chill, um, but I need to time this just right. The other thing we need to do is the Quantum Tower of Knowledge, or the Tower of Quantum Knowledge on the Brittle Hollow. I've been to the Tower on Giant's Deep, but I have yet to manage the one that's on uh, Brittle Hollow. Words, struggling, brain. I think it's got something to do with that. I don't think we were ever going to be able to just fly our way up there. I don't. I don't think that was ever going to be part of the puzzle. I, I think that was pretty silly of me to think that I was just going to... Like I was going to magically find a new flying technique, you know? Also, we'll go this way so I can start to see when the sand column starts doing its thing. I think what we need to do is, and this goes back to one of the first times we went to Brittle Hollow. That tower falls into the black hole at some point. I don't know when, but it happens. If that's the case, we can follow it into the black hole, right? And then we can use zero gravity to get into the tower. 
that's not beyond you know reasoning i don't think the other way is i just absolutely try and jam this ship through there and try and make that work but that feels like a bit of a bodge job to me um and if there's mechanics in this game i really 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 want to make that work so what we're gonna do i'm just gonna kind of hover around here till i see that sun platform pop up and we're gonna finally finally get in there I think there was a moment where, and, and you guys all notice, I started playing a lot of other games other than Outer Wilds. And I'm going to play them and I'm going to finish them. Oh, would you look at this? Perfect. You know, I'm going to play them all. But I think there was genuinely part of me that was, I guess, scared. Also, I'm going to park this off to one side, right? Because I don't want my ship disappearing. I think I was genuinely quite scared by the concept of finishing this game. Um, I don't think I was quite ready for that journey just yet. Not quite, anyway. But I think I'm ready now. I think I'm definitely getting better at accepting that this is going to end. And that is part of the journey. And that's part of the fun. So sorry for me trying to put it off. I'm sure you guys have all been in similar places when you've played this as well. God, I just... It's difficult to explain. You guys will know you've played this game. But the emotions that this thing makes me feel... is just ridiculous. I feel like I am feeling things... on such... Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that's the broken door. That's the broken door. Have I timed this wrong already? Have I missed the door? So I swear to God, if I have missed the door... No, the door has got to be further down than that. The door has got to be further down than that. That's the door that should work, but doesn't. So that means the other one should be... Uh, over here, somewhere. It's, it's under that lamp, I think, is where we need to go. Don't you pull me up. Please. Kindly. Oh, that feels pretty close, but surely it's going to go over the tower and not me. Uh. I do want to try yeet my ship out of that gravity cannon sometime. I feel like sometimes I should do like an episode where I just kind of mess around or do things like, you know, tick things off my bucket list. I want to see how far we can get the ship to go by just yeeting it out. I won't be able to be inside of it. The ship will just go. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let me. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh. Let me in. Ah. Ha. Ha. Come on. Yes. Oh. Right, let's open that bad boy up. That, I'm guessing, is going to tell me when it's charged. Like, you know, when you do, like, a return trip. Well, I am hurting a little bit. But that's okay. We've got in here. I've managed to do this bit. Now I've just got to wait until this aligns and hope it aligns at quite... Ah, there we go. Was I right? Come on. Come on. Yes! This was not what I was expecting. Where am I? Where am I? 281,042 years ago. No user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Six minutes, 53 seconds ago, increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Two. 
They've been dead 300,000 years. Look at this place. Mission. Science compels us to explode the sun. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such a morbid mission statement. <laughs> Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it is possible to prompt the sun to explode. You lack a sense of humour. At least I don't lack a sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. Idea. The mission statement is accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That is our mission. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Oh, Pi. Always want to make light of things that most would consider dark. They would have even had a statue. Is there anything up here for me to see? Or am I just taking in the sheer majesty of it all? I feel so small. I feel so impossibly small, yet this is just... This is why this is what the sun sees. I feel both impossibly small and so immense and important. Star has reached the end of its natural life cycle. Now approaching red giant stage. Evacuate the sun station. Approximate time until the sun station is destroyed. Oh, that's not good. That that's really that's really not good. No. Please, no, I just got here. I need to be quicker. I need to be so much quicker. I spent so much time basking in that kind of beauty that I just... We know what to do. We know what we're doing. We can do this. I need, I need to know. Two hundred 
and 81,000 years ago. I feel like I've been so connected to the Nomai that the possibility of it being that long isn't even a possibility to me. Like, that almost feels like it's disconnected me, or it did for a moment. There was there was a brief moment of, oh my god, that is such a long time ago. But I need to know more. I need... I, I noticed... You guys probably don't think I noticed the thing. I did notice it, but I'm not going to bring it up until we get there. Because I don't know who it is. And I'm hoping it's not the funny one. I'm hoping it's not either of them. But if there was going to be any, it's going to be one of them. Let's leave the ship here. Although at this rate, I don't think I'm even going to need the second. You know, I'm not going to need the ship, I don't think. I don't think we're going to make it. I don't think we're going to survive long enough. I need to get in there, find the info, and if, if the loop ends, if I get incinerated again, so be it. I'm going to incinerate myself in the name of science. There we go, you can have a Sturk shirt with that while we're waiting. So the sun station, there is more to explore here. There's also... So the Tower of Quantum Knowledge I need to go to, the sixth location, I think is that one around the eye, but I don't think, I think there's more there. We haven't even left the tower there, so I'm not surprised it maybe doesn't count. Quantum know my computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. So that's confirmed then, at least that this isn't the sun station blowing up. This is just... The universe is, you know, the universe is and we are. And that makes me feel even smaller. I feel like I'm just shrinking. I'm going to need the ship, I think, to actually find um, the tower. I, I think I just had it in my head that I parked in exactly the right place for this to be... Uh... Oh! I had! Oh, fair enough. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll accept that. So I need to wait for. Needs to come down a little bit. So I've got two more locations to go and actually see. I think I need to go to the tower. There's something else about the eye, like the the eye location on the quantum moon, that I'm missing. There is something I'm missing there because we couldn't get out. And I don't know what it is. And the only the only reason I could think, or the only way you, I could think that we'd find a way to, to get around that is there's got to be something in that tower that we haven't seen, in the, the quantum knowledge tower. Because we've been to the other and we've, we've found the, the trick about, you know, um, if you don't look at it, if you don't observe it, then it won't, you know, do its thing. So it's got to be in there. It's got to be in there. Part of me is... Part of me is tempted. Do we, do we go for it? Do we go hell for leather today? And try find that as well. Or do I save that for the next one? Ah, too many questions, too many ideas. Can you hear the cogs going round in my head? That's what that was, that's what that moment of just zoning out was. I was thinking, planning. I find myself just incessantly planning this series now. I can't plan what happens here. You know? It's not up to me what happens in the game. But I'm trying to think, is it worth committing to? I'm quite addicted to this game. 
do I do it? Do I do it? Let's do it. I'm going to commit to it. You guys are having a longer episode today because Sturks is feeling not even generous. Sturks is just feeling like, ah, spiky. Um, I just need to know things more than anything. You know? Yeah, come in. Come in. Come in. I'm fine. Up we go. Oh, did I miss time? I just, just mistimed it. God damn you, astrophysics. I must say that soundtrack of this sensation might be my new favorite. Or one of my new favorites anyway. That was... Incredible. What's... That particular star looks a bit weird. I don't know if that was a star. Oh, sun. Speaking of... Hello, star. Teleport me, please. There we go. Right. Less moping about, more adventuring. I am going to wait for that door to get out of the way, though. Right, I need to time this just right. I don't think I've timed this right. I don't think I've timed this right. I don't think I've timed this right. I have timed this right. I need to know more. Four minutes. We've got four minutes. The sun in the eye. Who are you? What happened? Did the station not fire? Oh, Pi. It fired Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. They were infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never, and could never, cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over. <sighs> I'm sure how to start over. Return to the Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire notices a comet approaching the star system that we would like to investigate. Pie, I hurt for you, my friends. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Idea? We're well, Yarrow. Or as well as can be expected. Though disappointed. I may have disagreed with exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. So sorry. So sorry. 